When you're involved in many projects at once, do you ever itch to see them displayed chronologically? If that's the case, try creating a timeline database with Notion. It's the ideal way to gain a full understanding of the work at hand and prioritize adequately. What's more, you can customize your database down to every detail. This tutorial will show you everything you need to know about timeline databases in Notion. You'll see how your team can use this database view to consult, edit, and collaborate on projects at the same time. Timeline views help everyone see the full picture, meet deadlines, and generally stay on top of things. To add a new database with a timeline view, click on Add a page in the sidebar, then select Timeline in the database section. If you want to add a timeline to an already existing page, hit the forward slash key in the page, type Timeline, and click on Inline or Full Page, depending on how you want your timeline displayed. If you have an already existing database like this project's database, click on the View Selector menu here, then Add a View, Timeline, and Create. This new timeline view will show up. The first thing I'd like to point out is the table that shows up at the left-hand side. If you are new to Notion databases, I suggest you view our video about table databases before resuming this tutorial. This table allows you to have a quick view of all your database entries. If you want to display more properties on your table, just click on Properties, hover your cursor under the Show in Table section, and use the toggle next to each property to show or hide it. If you want to hide the table entirely, just turn the Show Table toggle off. Another way to quickly show or hide this table is to click on these arrows. The same steps apply if you want to show or hide properties in your timeline. Toggle or untoggle according to your needs. Now let's have a closer look at the timeline. Every project has its own card, and clicking on the card will bring you to the project page. Remember that you can use this page to add all the information you want about your project, from related pages and images to embedded videos and code snippets. Click out of the page to go back to the timeline. One great thing about this database view is that you can zoom in and out as much as you need. See all your projects laid out according to different time units, hours, days, weeks, years, or quarters. As project dates or deadlines will inevitably change, you have the option to manually adjust them in your timeline. Just hover your cursor over the right or left of the card and drag and drop until the new start or end date. No need to open each card and edit the date property manually. As you horizontally scroll through your timeline, you'll notice these arrows that appear. They indicate that there are cards that exist further left or right of the timeline. Click on the arrows to jump to these parts. To locate today's day on the timeline, click on Today. Thanks to these features, which are specific to timeline views, any team member can see the full picture of the work at hand. As a project lead, if you can quickly see that a deadline is coming up, you can rearrange your priorities quickly and easily and effectively allocate resources. For obvious reasons, you will need a date property to have a timeline view. In fact, your timeline can be grouped by your choice of three properties a regular date property, a created time property, which displays the time your card was created, and a last edited time property. To switch between these dates, click on this menu. It's even possible to use different start and end dates by clicking on the toggle to this effect. For example, you could use a created time property as the start date and a date property named deadline as the end date. Go here to filter the information in your database. For instance, you can decide to only see projects whose product manager is Mary Cassatt. Apply a filter this way and remove it by clicking on the filters three dot menu and remove. Sorting can be useful when you want to display your cards in a certain order, from less recent to more recent, or even in alphabetical order if you wish. Remove a sort by clicking here. Now let's have a quick look at the view selector at the top left of our database. Click on it to switch between all the different views you may have of a single database. For example, this board groups all projects by their product manager, while this other board groups projects by their engineers. On the other hand, this table displays projects that were only tackled during Sprint 20. The ways in which you can view your data are endless. And that's a wrap. By now, you should have the tools you need to create your own customized timeline view with Notion. With a detailed view like this one, 
your teammates will no longer have to wonder about the status of a task or an important launch date. Seeing the full picture can be incredibly useful to allocate resources effectively and easily rearrange priorities. We hope you enjoy playing with Notion's most customizable view yet. Thank you.